Amazon Bedrock Agent Core. Amazon Bedrock Agent Core is a managed platform for AI agents. Key components include a serverless runtime environment, gateway for connecting to tools, memory management and observability. We will learn more as we go along. Our use case, Bytes Commerce, a fictitious company, wants to create an agenting customer support solution that can answer questions about orders and products. This is the overall architecture of our Amazon Bedrock Agent Core based solution. The agent deployed in Agent Core Runtime interacts with the LLM for reasoning and with Agent Core Gateway to invoke tools via the model context protocol. The tools are implemented as a AWS Lambda function and made available via Agent Core Gateway, which serves as a managed MCP server endpoint. Amazon Cognito User Pool manages user authentication and authorization, allowing the web app to securely invoke the agent using OAuth2 credentials. Let's start with implementing our tools in a Lambda function. On AWS Console Lambda section, hit Create function, provide a function name, Next, choose a runtime that is Python. Okay, scroll down and hit create function. So the function is created. Now let's update the code for it. We'll paste our code here. So we have two tools here. First tool name is extracted. And the tools are get order details and get product details. While we are returning dummy information, you could pick up this information from another service or from a database. Okay. And now hit the deploy button and wait for the deployment to complete. So our function is ready. Next, we will create our agent core gateway and configure the Lambda function as a target. In agent core gateways, hit create gateway, provide a gateway name. So that will be bytes gateway for inbound auth configuration. Choose use IAM permissions and under IAM permissions, it will be create and use a new service role. And then for target, provide a target name, bytes gateway target, for target type, we will select lambda air, okay, go to the lambda function we created earlier, copy the function air, come back here and paste the lambda air for target schema. We will select define an inline schema and paste our schema here. Schema essentially defines um, what is expected of uh, input parameters and description of the tools, right? So that is what the schema defines. Hit create gateway. Okay. So the gateway has been created. So you will find gateway ID, gateway resource URL, etc. here and a target. We will set up a Cognito user pool now. Amazon Cognito user pools, hit create user pool. Select single page application. Provide a name for the application. Bytes client app. Okay, select username, disable self registration, choose email as an attribute there and hit create user directory. Okay, so this has been created. User pool is ready. And you can see user pool ID, ARN, etc. here, which we will use later and the app client. Now let us rename this user pool. Hit rename and uh, we will call it bytes user pool. Hit save changes. So there you have it, bytes user pool. Now select users, hit create user, 
okay provide a username jo all right and provide a password and hit create user so a user has been created now in a user pool select our app client okay and here under login pages section hit edit and we will provide allowed callback url right so since we'll be running our application locally that's a callback url and this is our allowed sign out url okay hit save changes fine under branding go to domain note that domain we will be using that later but for now hit edit and select hosted ui as a selection okay next we will create a python virtual environment in a local working directory on our desktop now go to our working directory on command line and let's create a python virtual environment all right and uh, let's activate it now here we will install these packages using pip so let's do that okay and uh, wait for that to complete okay let us look at the agent now from our working directory we will open our code editor okay so there you can see now here we i have placed a directory called web which has some web application code and our agent okay so let's go over this agent code quickly so we will have some things to update here things like model id gateway url gateway region and if you want to update the system prompt right so you should be able to update these things here uh, the gateway url is nothing but the gateway we created earlier so you should be able to find that information from aws console okay so here for example we are getting the full tool list and uh, then we use mcp client to interact with the gateway and so on so fairly uh, straightforward code here in our working directory we have a requirements.txt file as well now let's take a look at it so type requirements.txt and this has list of packages that we need for configuring the agent okay so now uh, let's use the agent code tool remember this tool was installed as a part of our earlier package installation so agent code configure minus e right uh, agent name so it asks us a bunch of questions in most cases defaults are good okay so for role auto create and uh, auto create for ecr repository for oauth yes and we need an oauth discovery url so in our uh, user pool copy the uh, token signing url and uh, paste it here and with a small modification so the last part should be open id hyphen configuration right so that's our oauth discovery url okay hit enter oauth client id so this is the client we had created earlier so let's go back to the user pool under the apps client section select the client name and copy the client id okay come back to a working directory and paste the uh, client id there okay audience no nothing and hit enter right uh, so no for that okay and uh, next let us see it asks a presenter to create new memory so that short term memory long term memory no okay so our agent is configured and here we can see some new files among them .yaml file has been created okay now we can deploy the agent so agent core launch right so this basically builds a docker image on aws and then uh, the image is created in the 
ECR, uh, the repository, and uh, then that image is used to deploy in agent runtime. Okay, so let's wait for this to complete. Okay, so that's done. Let's look at the status, agent core status. All right, so it's retrieving the status. Okay, so the status looks good and we can proceed to the next step. Now, in agent core, select agent runtime and you can see your bytes agent. Select that. You will see various details here, things like runtime ID, endpoint, uh, version, etc. To look at more details, hit update hosting. And here, when you scroll down, you can see the Docker image uh, URI here. There is a service role which you will need very soon. We we'll look at that next. Um, inbound auth protocol HTTP. Uh, use JSON web tokens, discovery URL, and the client ID that we used earlier. Okay, expand that advanced configurations. And here you can set any additional environment variables. If you would like to. Okay, so you can hit cancel here. Before we move on to the next step, let's quickly look at the Amazon Elastic Container Registry. So you can see a repository name here, right? So select that and you can see the image that has been created. Okay, now go back and select the agent here and uh, note the service role name. Okay, and then go to I am roles and select this particular role, right? So we need to update this role essentially. We will be adding a policy here. So right, create inline policy. Okay, select JSON and paste a policy. So this policy will be essentially to allow the agent to invoke the gateway, right? So you can take a closer look at the policy. Right, so provide the gateway ID there. Okay, hit next. Give this policy a name. We'll call that bytes gateway invoke policy. Hit create policy. Okay, so that has been created and attached to this role. Let us look at the web app now. Next, we will go to our ID and here uh, go to the web application. Okay, so let's look at the index.html page here. So there is a chat widget, right? So you will see how this chat widget is used later and Go to the auth.js section. Here we need to update the Cognito config information. So user pool ID, client ID, Cognito domain, all of this information you can get from the user pool, right? So here there's user pool ID and um, you can copy that and use it. And if you go to our client, you can see the client ID. And similarly under branding, if you go to the domain section, you'll find the domain. So copy that. All right, so all of this stuff you need that here. And now, if you go to script.js, here uh, we need to update the agent ARM, right? So, this is what the agent ARM would look like agent runtime ARM, right? So, if you come to the agent, you'll see runtime ID here, right? So, that's what you need here. Okay, and in app.py. Right, so this is what creates the web application. Our agentic solution is ready for demo now. In our working directory, let's cd to web and run our web application, python app.py. Okay, so our application is running now. Let's go to the browser. Localhost 5001. So that's our application login page. Hit login. You will be presented with a username password page. So enter that, hit sign in, and we should see our chat window, right? So th that's our 
chat window and uh, type hello. So this request goes to the agent and it sends it to the LLM and that's the response. Hello, how can I assist you today? If you need information about an order or a product, please provide so and so. So please give me order details, right? See, we have not provided order ID. We're just saying, please give me order details. Let's see what is the response, right? So there's a thinking time. The user wants order details, but hasn't provided an order ID. I need the order ID. So could you please provide the order ID? So let's give it an order ID. Using this order ID, it will use the MCP client and go to the tool by the MCP server and get a response. This response is coming from the tool in Lambda. Here are the details of the order. Order ID so and so, order date, product name. Also give me product details for product ID so and so. So again, uh, we will get product information from the tool via MCP. So here are the details of the product. Right? So all of this is working on expected lines. Wonderful. Thank you. And now we can hit logout. Okay. And back to login page. Now that we are done, we can destroy these resources. In a working directory, agent core, destroy. So first this will present us current deployment resources, right? And then ask us a question. Are you sure you want to destroy the agent and all its resources? So if you answer yes, all of these resources would be destroyed. So that was a quick introduction and tutorial on Amazon Bedrock Agent Core.